So now let us discuss about the geometry of average revenue and marginal revenue curve under imperfect competition. So we are discussing in detail the various concept of you know revenue of a firm that is average revenue marginal revenue in this chapter. So we have discussed <clears throat> we are discussing it under imperfect competition and we have also discussed in under perfect competition. So the geometry of average revenue and marginal revenue curves under imperfect competition. So before going to this explanation, what you have to keep in mind and which is very important for you to understand the geometry of AR and MR curve is that as we have studied, you know, that in monopoly and various forms of imperfect competition, the average revenue curves slopes downward. So first point that you have to keep in mind to understand this is that under imperfect competition, the average revenue curves, they slope downward. So it is sloping downward here. And the second point that you have to keep in mind is the MR curve always lies below the average revenue. So this is the two important key points that you have to keep in mind to understand this diagram or the geometry between AR and MR. So to for you to make it easy to remember, always think that AR A means above. So which means that this AR will always be above MR curve or MR curve always uh, will lie below AR. So AR will always be above the MR curve. That is why A here above AR you uh, read it as above. So AR that will make you easy to understand so mr curve will always lie below this ar curve ar average revenue which is above a will represent above here for you to uh, you know remember easily so the two point ar curve will slope downward and then mr curve will lie below ar or ar will lie above mr curve so having said that, let us go straight to understand the geometry of AR and MR. So when a straight line average revenue curve, AR curve, slopes downward. So here it is sloping downward here, AR curve. The marginal revenue, what will happen to marginal revenue? The marginal revenue curve, which is MR, which lies below it, will pass through the middle of the distance between AR and the X AR and the Y axis. What does it mean here? What is the relation? What is the geometry between AR and MR? Suppose we have a given AR curve which is sloping downward and when it is sloping downward MR curve will pass through the distance between AR and Y exists at the middle, exactly at the middle of this. The distance between AR and Y exists. So this is the AR curve and this is the Y exists. So what it means is that the MR curve, when AR is a downward sloping curve, MR will exactly pass through the middle of this distance between AR curve and the Y axis exactly at this middle point. So that we have to prove or that we have to show. So to prove that let us draw a perpendicular line any straight per uh, any perpendicular line between this the distance between that is AR and Y axis. So AB perpendicular line is drawn here and when you draw this MR curve you have to be really careful now because it is given here that it has to pass through the middle of this. This MR curve will have to cut this distance between into two equal parts. So at point C MR curve is drawn here. At point C the MR curve and the perpendicular line AB is inter uh, you know they are intersected. And this point would have to divide the distance between AB into two equal parts, which means that AC 
and BC would have to be equal. So you have to really be careful when you draw this M marker because it has to cut this distance into two equal parts. You cannot simply draw like this or draw like that. It has to cut the distance into two equal parts. So that is basically the geometry that occurs between AR and MR curve. So for you to draw an MR curve when AR curve is given, first you draw a perpendicular line between the two distance that is AR and the Y axis. And then you have to make sure that this MR curve passes through the middle of this distance perpendicular line that is AB which means that when you draw an MR curve at point C C should be the middle of the distance which means that AC must be equal to BC so that is how you draw a MR curve so figure 3 is showing the relationship between the straight line AR and MR curve under imperfect competition So we have discussed the geometry of AR and MR when it comes to a straight line. So now let us discuss about a non-linear non -linear AR and MR curves. When the AR and the MR curve is not the case of a straight line but it is in the form of a curve. Whether it is convex or concave to the origin. So even here you have to keep in mind that the AR curve slopes downward and then MR curve lies below AR curve. So keeping in mind the two points, let us go ahead in explaining the relation between AR and MR in case of a non-linear curve. First up we have when MR curve is convex to the origin. So convexity, convex of the MR curve to the origin. So when AR curve is convex to the origin, then MR curve will also be convex to the origin. So what will happen when it is when AR curve is convex to the origin? What is the relationship MR curve will have with AR curve when average and marginal revenue curve are either convex or concave so in either of these cases in both convex or concave the marginal revenue curve will not lie halfway between the average revenue curve and the y axis so in both this convex and concave ar and mr curve in both these cases this mr curve will not lie halfway between the ar and the y axis even here it will not lie halfway between the AR and the Y axis. So this point is the middle or the halfway. And even here, this point is the halfway or the middle point here. But in both these cases, this MR curve will not lie halfway or will not be passing through the middle of the distance between AR and the Y axis in both the cases. So what will happen when it is a convex MR curve to the origin? So, if the average revenue curve is convex to the origin as shown in figure 4, the marginal revenue curve, the MR curve, will also be convex to the origin. And it will cut any perpendicular, let us say this is the perpendicular line, it will cut any perpendicular drawn from AR to Y axis more than halfway measured from the AR curve. So this is the halfway from measuring from AR, but in this convex MR curve, AR curve, I mean, the MR curve will cut the, will cut any perpendicular line which is drawn between AR and Y axis more than its halfway. So it is more than halfway measured from AR. So you have to measure from this side from AR. So when you measure from AR, it is cutting more than halfway to the perpendicular which is drawn between AR and Y axis. Again, let me repeat. When AR is convex to the origin, MR will also be convex to the origin. And in this case, any perpendicular line drawn between AR and MR curve, if it is drawn, MR curve will cut the 
perpendicular line more than halfway when it is measured from the AR curve. So it is cutting more than halfway. Here it is the middle point, but it is cutting more than halfway. So that is the case of convex MR curve convex to the origin. Next, figure 5, which is showing the MR curve when AR curve is concave to the origin. So AR curve is concave to the origin and likewise since AR curve is concave to the origin, MR curve will also be concave to the origin. And if any perpendicular line is drawn between the distance of AR and Y exists, the MR curve will cut the perpendicular line less than halfway measured from AR curve. So MR curve is cutting the perpendicular line less than the halfway so here it is the halfway but it is less than halfway here measured from the ar curve remember we have to measure from the ar curve not from this side so since we are measuring from ar curve it is cutting less than halfway to the perpendicular line drawn between ar and the y axis so in case of ar curve concave to the origin mr curve will also be concave to the origin and MR curve will cut the perpendicular line drawn between AR and Y axis less than halfway if it is measured from the AR curve. So that is the geometry for a nonlinear AR and MR curve.